Win as one. EA Sports FIFA 21. Sponsors Saturday Social. This is Ask Matip. We gave you guys at home the chance to ask this man absolutely anything on the Sky Sports social media channels. Joel, we had thousands of questions sent in for you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Right, let's crack straight on then. This one was sent in by a lot of people and it says, which team did you support when you were growing up? Um, that's a tough question, of course. Um, I was um, a club of my uh, fan of my former club Schalke because I grew up there and I played there since I was nine. But if you look maybe a little bit more international, I would say it was Real with uh, Zidane. Oh, really? That's a really interesting one. So what was it about sort of Real Madrid that, that made you ah, enjoy watching their football? Just the players they had. Uh, just the... Um, uh, I don't know how to call this in English, but uh, the name they had it in Germany, they call it Das Weiße Ballett. And they had these players, Zidane, Figo, Ronaldo, Raul. They were just amazing. Yeah, we call them the Galacticos. Sort Galacticos. of the stars yeah, of every single team. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, amazing, amazing team. And I'm, I'm not surprised you supported them, to be honest with you. Uh, let's move on to the next one then. How does it feel to go from playing against Jurgen Klopp to playing for him? Uh, I prefer to play with him <laughs> because <laughs> most of my games against him, uh, not all of them, but a few of them ended not so good uh, for <laughs> my side. So uh, I really enjoy to play with him, to play under him because uh, he is a quite big hub. And yeah, so I prefer to keep it that way. Yeah, I mean, you're obviously playing in one of the most heated derbies in world football, Schalke versus Dortmund. From my perspective, I see it as a massive game. How big of a rivalry is it in Germany, Dortmund versus Schalke? Uh, it's a really, really big thing uh, in the moment. Of course, uh, Dortmund is ahead and um, it's hard to compete. This is one of the biggest games there and uh, they really hate each other, to be honest. And it's like <laughs> uh, you already feel this in the youth and it's like uh, always a special game. And um, if you know this kind of feeling, what it means for all the people there in the club or for yourself, you it's always a really big game and uh, you're looking forward to this. And um, Three points against Dortmund uh, means a lot more than uh, three points against each other team. Love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Who is more competitive, Trent Alexander-Arnold or Andrew Robertson? <laughs> <laughs> um, that's hard to say. I think they always try to be better than the other one to make more assists. Or That's a really tough one. Um, for sure, I would say uh, Wobble would be the loudest. Uh, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> the more competitive, they, I think they are quite uh, really um, ambitious. And what's it like in training playing with them? Because we kind of see from the outside that they're always trying to get more goals, more assists than each other. Are they the same in training? Yeah, they always push each other. Uh, sometimes funny, but uh, even on the training, <laughs> they always want to be better. And I think uh, that's a competition you need in a team to get better. And I think uh, it makes them better that they always uh, compare to each other sometimes and they want to push each other. And um, yeah, it's great to have them because uh, they're in the front, they're in the back, they're everywhere sometimes. And it's just amazing to play with them. Them. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's move on. What was the better party? Winning the Premier League or winning the Champions League? Uh, these were two great moments, but uh, for me personally, because the Champions League, uh, we could celebrate with our fans and supporters. And when we had, um, when we drove um, after the game through the city, it was just amazing. And uh, maybe uh, it's hard to say, but uh, because of this, it's the Champions League uh, was maybe for me personally a little bit higher. What was the actual party like? Was everybody having fun? Few drinks consumed? It must have been pretty wild. Uh, it was crazy and it took a while because <laughs> we already had some time um, when we played the final there and it was a long night and the flight and then the whole day after it was just some crazy hours and uh, <laughs> more like a marathon. Eh? <laughs> a marathon, not a sprint. I completely agree. Uh, okay, the next one I think might well be linked to the party. It says here, are you the best dancer <sighs> in the Liverpool squad because I saw a lot of different For dances sure going not. on. Also, I can <laughs> absolutely make that clear. Uh, unfortunately not. I would I would like to be, but uh, no. I think uh, maybe uh, I'm not an expert on this. Uh, how you can see maybe and um, but I think Ox, Joe and Genie they have some I think great moves and uh, it doesn't look too bad if they're on the dance floor. I would say. Do you have one signature move you go to? Is it uh, the robot? No, not or, really, or not really. For? I think it's better like this that uh, nobody <laughs> really knows what I'm gonna do. But um, I just dancing is just about having fun. At least 
how I do it. So uh, that's the most important point, I think. I have to say, I saw a video of Jurgen Klopp dancing. Yeah. He looks like he's got a few moves. He got some moves, impressive and yeah, entertaining. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, let's move on to the next question then. Um, sent in by a lot of people this one as well. What is your favorite food? Uh, I think I stay there quite classic. Pizza or in Germany we call it um, something different. It's uh, called currywurst. I don't know. It's like a, the German people always love sausage. So it's some kind of sausage. And yeah, these are the two kinds uh, I really like. What what topping do you have on your pizza? What's your favorite topping? Oh, I like it uh, really classic. For sh normally it's like really margarita or a little bit maybe margarita. I think it's most of the time the best. It's uh, not too much and uh, with a good pizza, it's always quite good. Nice and simple. Is there any sort of, you talk about German food there, is there any English food you look at that you see maybe Trent eating or Jordan Henderson eating and you think that's disgusting? I wouldn't be eating that. <laughs> Uh, I would not say it like this, but um, they are not really popular, these kind of pies. I never tried them, <laughs> to be honest. It's uh, kind of weird for me to, when I'm thinking about the pie, I always think about something sweet and uh, to see here the salty kind of pie, but um, we don't have actually that much English food here in the team because we yeah. cook quite international. Of course, there are sometimes uh, a little bit from every side of the world, but uh, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, the next one. Have you seen the No Context Joel Matip account on Twitter? Uh, I've not seen it, but uh, I think I know uh, what you're talking about. Uh, from time to time, my teammates send something into the into the <laughs> group chat or I get from some friends um, a picture or a video and uh, I've not seen it directly, but uh, indirect. I think uh, I saw a few of the content that is uh, shown there. I have to say, it's got 50,000 followers, Joel. You, you are becoming something of a little bit of a cult hero within Liverpool fans. How does it feel to be so loved by such a huge fan base? <laughs> I think it's always better to be loved, even if it's not like really a planned thing I'm doing there. But um, it's nice to be liked. And um, I think uh, everybody's looking forward to this. And um, uh, but, uh, I don't try to think too much about this. One of the questions we had sent in, it's actually the next one here, definitely in reference to the account. It says, do you always walk funny when you're angry? I think this is to reference the in <laughs> it's Everton a great incident. Question. Where you, it's a great question. Where you, <laughs> I cannot really answer it. It's uh, not that I try to run like I'm, it's just uh, out of the situation. Uh, I don't really think about this. And uh, like I said before, there's nothing planned. It's just the situation and uh, how I react then, I think. It's absolutely hilarious. I have to, I have to say it's well <laughs> worth a follow, Joe. Is it true you're actually the fastest defender at the club? No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not having it. Uh, I could... Uh, no. Um, no. That's a clear answer, no. That's... Uh, who, is, who is the fastest? I think Virgil. It depends on always really? if you say on the, um, on the first meters, on the last. I think Joe is also really, really quick. But I'm not sure, but... For sure, I think I'm not the qu uh, quickest, but uh, I can deal with my pace and uh, I'm doing so far quite good with my pace. But you're not the slowest either, Joe. You're not no. the slowest either, are I you? I would say I'm not slow, but I'm also not the quickest. In between and uh, with some long legs, I can help myself. So uh, I don't have to be the quickest on the field. Long legs yeah, long also old strides. quite good. Love it, love it. Okay, the next one then. Who is the best and the worst dressed at Liverpool? I would, uh, for both answer, uh, for both questions, I would give one answer. It's just like, um, for his kind of way, I never could uh, dress like this, but he can dress it and it looks quite good. So it's hard to say if I would dress like Bobby, for example, I would look <laughs> ridiculous, but the way he dresses, it's like perfect for him. And it's like, uh, he's coming directly from uh, Mailand or Paris and, uh, <laughs> so it's like, for him it's perfect and I think uh, you really take care about uh, things like this. But for me personally, it would be like too much. You're putting yourself down, Joel. I think you no, look really no, good no, in some of Bobby's in clothes. I'm not like a, a fashion uh, act, uh, addict or how you can say it. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm something in between. Okay, great answer. The next question then. What has been your favorite Liverpool game? Was it the Barca one? 
Yeah, it was a Barcelona one. It was uh, for sure. <laughs> it was um, it was just a great moment, and I think uh, with, with the history that we won uh, the title after, it makes the game complete. And um, nobody expected us to really go to the final after the first game, but uh, we made it through. And uh, after the game, standing there in front of the cup was just an amazing feeling. Uh, yeah, that's my highlight. <laughs> what was the sort of atmosphere like in the dressing room after that game? Can you give us a little glimpse into whether everybody was jumping around? Was everybody still focused? Was it going crazy? Uh, the sad thing for me personally, I had to go to the doping, so I never been to the dressing room. And uh, oh no, yeah, that was quite sad. And uh, after the match, I could stand in front of the cop, and uh, I always remember this, but. Uh, when I came to the dressing room, everybody was gone because I couldn't go to the toilet for a really, really long time. So I spent my whole evening in the doping room and uh, yeah, but uh, it was still a great night. Yeah, definitely. Okay, the next question then. Who has the worst music taste at Liverpool? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's a tough question. Um, I always answered this one and then I had it to hear from the guy. He said, what do you think about my music? Now, it's not the worst, but um, Sadio is always the worst, uh, always the first in the gym. And the first yeah. can uh, kind of pick uh, the music in the gym. And I'm getting a little bit tired of his music. So it's like, because he's always that early in the gym, more than one hour or one uh, 90 minutes before he's nearly in the gym and doing his stuff. So he's picking the music and I'm getting a little bit tired of his music, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get in there before him in the mornings then, Yeah, you need to yeah, get in there but first. Uh, then I have to come here at, uh, I don't know what time to, to really pick it. So <laughs> it will be, uh, so I think I will stay with his music. Absolutely fantastic. Top gentlemen. Thanks very much, Joel. Perfect.